Okay, Javier, it's the new year, so we have new videos and new tools and new toys to play. So I was traveling during the holidays and I was actually either on Zurich or Lucerne in Switzerland. And I was in the hotel and I got like the, the notification for this blog post. And I was checking it in the, and I wanted to see what was new. So a lot of the things were already in the preview that they showed before. But something that uh, was new for me was actually this part. Or maybe it was there and didn't see it before, but I just test them and they're really, really nice. Especially for me that sometimes I'm using a Mac computer, sometimes I'm using a Linux computer. So I have not tried this in Mac or Linux so far, only in the new, in the new computer that I have. But it's sweet and I like the direction where everything is going because it seems that to be more unified. So a demo show better like what I, my idea, so what I tried to explain. So here I have Visual Studio. If, oh no, maybe let's go back a little bit. Uh, so they show here that they have the new template kit for both Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. So you can go for these links or like search on the, on the web, on Bing or whatever. And then you have this template kit for Visual Studio and this template kit for Visual Studio Code. I have installed both already, so I will not show that part. So if we go to Visual Studio and then we do file new project, we'll have the template kit here. Uh, let's say like template kit, the Visual Studio. So create, and then you will see it like kind of a new wizard. I don't know how to name this. It's like um, this, oh, hold on. I have a new computer, so the resolution and everything is strange still. So here you see, you can select the platforms. Let, let's do a SAF application, of course. So uh, let's maximize this. So here you have all the new options and you, you can select which target framework you want. By by, that framework is not included here, of course. Uh, you can name your connection string. You can select if you want XPO or the framework, then the flavor that are current at the moment, which are Blazor for web, and Windows Forms for desktop, that's always been like that. So basically it's a new, I would say like a, a revolution or something of the wizard to get in the project. So uh, basically I believe they are the same options, but the beautiful part is that it's a little bit cross platform. So this doesn't look so amazing if you already use Visual Studio, you have something like that already. But I use Visual Studio code that it sucks. You have to do it by hand, copy, commit in some computer and then download it. And here is where the beauty exists. So if you're in Visual Studio code and you have the extension, you can just create a new Dev Express project here, name it, test VS code, select a folder. And of course, always go to the raw monitor and you have exactly the same wizard with the same options. This is sweet because finally it's getting like this at the same, you know, everything's getting like a whole picture, right? Like one single thing. So the same wizard that I was showing from Visual Studio is here from Visual Studio Code. So this is good news for me that I change computer all the time. If I only have Visual Studio Code or Rider, I use Rider sometimes, I have the same wizard to create a new project. So that this is amazing. I love it. I think that also it looks really good. It looks really sleek. It's beautiful. Yeah. I like that you can change the, the, the server, the database instance server. So mm -hmm. always you, we do a lot of local DB, but right here you can put Skill Express or you can put anything that you want right away. Uh, it gives you all your choices, even module, uh, multi-tenant platform mm -hmm. in just one screen. Uh, this is beautiful. I think that Jose, in the future, everything is going to start moving more and more to this agnostic way. Mm -hmm. So hopefully at some point in the future, even the model, we are able to use it from Mac. Yeah, let's, let's cross the figure for that because that, that yeah. would be like amazing news. Let's dream, let's dream for a little bit. <laughs> uh, um, no, I think I think it will come. Uh, the main question is when, those, those, these changes take time because they affect a lot of people, so they cannot do it lightly. But I'm glad that this is the new tool for the for 2025. For me, this is one of the highlights of 2024 because it's something really new. And especially for people who develop on Mac like me. So this is amazing for that. 
And of course, I'm mentioning only XAF, but if you can see there, you have your yeah. uh, projects for dashboard, for reports, for Maui, for WPF, for Blazor, for ASP on Netcore, for everything. So yeah. that's the future. And also, Hocho, one thing that we didn't mention, we have been used VS Code in some of the projects or sometimes when we are uh, traveling and so on. And we have always been doing it through the uh, yeah. a console. We were creating yeah. on the new project. So right now we are still for, for everyone, for every new user that likes the GUI interface that is really nice and straightforward, you got it. We, you don't have to do like us that we actually create our own templates and go from there and so on, so on. You have it right the, here. The, this is the tell that, I mean, for me, because remember, Javier, that we come from, first, uh, we, we, we've we been working on this idea before internally for the office, remember that. We create our own templates, then we publish the templates for the CLI, and it was not unified. It was uh, Visual Studio one way, Visual Studio Code another way. If I was on Linux, it was a different way. And now this is a single thing for all of them. So in that sense, it's beautiful and it's, uh, it's way easier to understand. I mean, you have the same experience, it doesn't matter which computer it is, or if you're using Visual Studio Code, that uh, for some people it's more, I mean, they, they like Visual Studio Code more. I guess it's like lighter, some like less heavier. So, uh, I like the way where this is going. Um, I need to play around more with it, but so far so good, right? So yeah. let's see how it goes. We'll, we'll report back. Yeah, of course. All right. All right. So everyone. that was everything. See you on the next video.